It's Monday, May 26, 2014. As you can see from the canvas here and obviously the description, we've got a couple of uh, trade knives to review for you today. These are both part of the Magic Assisted Opening. They're both part number SCH-A5B. Only difference being more of a graphite finish and a complete black finish here. Um, these are very similar to the 3B that I did a review on uh, probably uh, a couple months ago. This is a Tonto blade. These are clip point blades and we'll show you that in just a minute. Um, as far as the handles, they're both aluminum. The blade material actually is uh, AUS8, which is uh, again a mid-grade steel. Not going to be the best, but not going to be the worst. I actually prefer these because they're easier for me to sharpen and you know it's not a $200 knife that if I do something to I'm gonna you know start crying so that's a good thing for me um, <clears throat> magic assisted opening I already mentioned you've got the little knob here or you've got your ambidextrous thumb knobs you've got the thumb knobs are pretty good size you don't have to really go searching for them so and again it's ambidextrous so if you're a lefty I have trouble with my left hand there. <laughs> you can open it either way. Um, dimensions. Uh, actually, before we go to dimensions, another little thing I really, really like about these. You see this grip tape? That's what it looks like to me. Uh, but it's more rubbery. It's not harsh. almost feels like the material that uh, the rubber grip that I put on, the talon grips that I put on the XDM, my XDM uh, 9mm. Very, very comfortable. You do have a lanyard loop or hole, and you've got your pocket clip. Now, <clears throat> I really like the where you know where they've actually put this lanyard hole, pocket clip. So if you got this rest in your pocket and you've got a lanyard on there, you could grab the knife, get it out of your pocket. But if you have a lanyard right there, uh, you know whatever you've got on there, you could just yank it up by that. Really, really close. So you can have this kind of hanging out of your pocket. I just thought that was the perfect location to put that really really excited me. I don't know why. I just thought that was pretty cool. Just uh, the little things. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, here's the black one. Same thing. Both clip point blades. Oops. Obviously you have safety. Should I show you that? Safety off. And then if, obviously if you have your safety on, it's not going to go anywhere. And these are both liner lock. So there's your liner lock right there. Push that to the side, and then you can bend it down. They do have a, here's a Torx screw here, Torx head. You can actually, uh, it's not really made to adjust the, the speed, but if you put a little bit more drag, tighten it up a little bit, you can actually get it to slow down a little bit. Uh, you're about as fast as you're going to get with this, but you can slow it down a little bit. It's not really meant for that, but you can do it if you, if you so choose. Uh, the handle itself, and I think I mentioned this on the 3B, you know, when you're looking on the website, it, it I don't know, I, I didn't care for the shape of the handle, honestly, the look, not really the look, but the shape, I thought, I mean, that's kind of weird, but just like the 3B, it actually feels more natural uh, than just having a straight handle, I mean, it feels really, really good, and it fits my hand perfectly, so if I'm, you know, like this, I feel like I could conquer the world, you know, I could split a cow in half if I wanted to, just because of that handle, I mean, just the, the shape, it's just perfect. It's, I don't know if I've got a straight handle one here to compare, I don't think I have anything right with me, no, I don't, but, you know, looking at it and seeing it, didn't really look, you know, like, eh, that's kind of weird, you know, I don't know if I'd be very comfortable. The exact opposite. It makes me want to buy more of these style of, of uh, handle. It's really, really, I don't know. You'll have to get one to try. They retail for about $69 retail. Now, Amazon's going to have them cheaper. I'll put the link to both below, to Shrade site and Amazon. Um, so you can, you know, you can go from there. Again, pocket clip, steel pocket clip, not plastic. Uh, aluminum handle, AUS-8 uh, high carbon for the blade. Uh, we'll check the sharpest in a minute. I haven't actually done that. Uh, overall length, 7.5 inches. I think 7.6, something like that. Um, actually, let's look. Yeah. 3.3 of that is blade. And then, uh, of course, 4.5 would be the handle. 
weight, 0.31 pounds, and we'll do what we always do, we'll weigh and measure. Uh, we're not going to measure both of them. They're both identical. But let's go ahead and get the scale out. So we'll start with black. Oh my god, 0.31 right on the nose. Now the 3B, this one does have some, I think it's a little heavier if I remember. Just a teeny, teeny bit. This one has some rubber and some other things. Also a Tonto blade. Um, and obviously the graphite one's going to weigh the same. Ooh, it's actually a little bit more. Maybe it's that coloring. Oh, no, they both weigh the same now. Probably my scale, obviously. Uh, we'll check the length here. Turn this off, get it out of the way. So overall, well, we'll measure the blade first. We're not going to measure the handle because obviously we'll... 3.3 on the nose, and then obviously overall, a tad bit over 7.5. So not huge, but not small. Now the 3B size comparison, it's almost the same length, but you see it's just overall a smaller knife. It's just a little smaller. Not quite as fat, and the, hand, you know, the blade's a little smaller that and we'll, uh, you know, we'll try to cut some paper. And I haven't really carried these yet because I've already, you know, been carrying that 3B. And you can see the 3B, I've beat up the blade pretty good on it. Um, so it's going to be the same blade, same carry. So I haven't carried them yet to do like a, you know, a daily review. But I imagine they're going to be just like the 3B. I'll, uh, Man, I've got to rip that. I'll, you know, I will definitely do it, but... It is, you know, it's sharp. Almost any of these knives you get from Trade or Smith & Wesson or Taylor Brands, any other knives, they come very, very sharp. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, now, my Kershaw, I'll put that away. I did buy a Kershaw that was pretty sharp, but not quite as sharp. I don't know. Uh, I think Schrade's just, they've got the sharpening thing down, obviously. There we go. Set them both on display here. You see a very quick action. So, I think that's going to do it. Um, I think we went over everything we've got here. We'll go ahead and put the 3B up there as well. There you go. Very, very nice blades. Um, I'll probably carry this graphite one actually. I have a lot of black. Um, although you probably in the video you saw me gravitating towards the black. It's just uh, mind games there, I guess. But uh, I'll probably carry this one. I'll probably start carrying it. Uh, I'll be out of town next week, so I don't want to carry it with me next week. So probably the week after I'll start carrying that one. I've been carrying. Um, one that I still need to do a review on, actually, and it is, where's it at? Oh, here it, is. it is not your conventional, it's more of a old style knife. It's a shrade. It's actually an old timer. We're going to do a review on that one, uh, not today, but uh, I'm still carrying this one. I really, really like it. Uh, got a nice little holster here. Um, so I hope, you know, we'll do a review on that one soon, but I wanted to get this one out there since I already pretty much know from carrying this, it's going to be an awesome piece. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, post those below, subscribe, and thanks for watching.